hello all let us talk about uh, uh, device tree so before you want to write a code uh, in zypher or tos or any other linux uh, code uh, you need to know the device tree um, so we will talk about that basically device tree is nothing but a simple data structure so uh, this data structure describes the hardware that is present in the system so now uh, the entire operating system what we talk is based on the linux kernel right if it is a linux based operating system so now um, this operating system should be a common one and when it is used for a particular board example in embedded system um, this uh, linux should be a independent one and for different boards there will be different uh, um, hardwares so this linux should be e easily portable to these boards um, but uh, uh, the hardware will definitely be independent as we all know so now this hardware um, for each and every board uh, whether it be the number of peripherals or uh, the Uh, GPIOs or any other interrupts or any specific hardware related uh, um, IRQs whatever these uh, can be defined uh, in a specific structure which is called a device tree so this device tree could be a simple text file or it could be a in a binary format and um, as you see in the uh, screen here this it will be of this format and uh, um when you try to um load some operating system in a embedded board or any other os based systems uh, uh, the kernel uh, would read this uh, uh, device tree and get the information of the hardware so it is very important uh, for the programmer to know this device tree and uh, this device tree implementation is based on a specific standard this device tree uh, actually uh, as we said is a simple uh, text format uh, where uh, there is a specific structure in which uh, this need to be written based on the device tree specification that is present um, and uh, this uh, uh, file whatever we are talking the text file would be stored in a memory and uh, um, the operating system during its booting would root Uh, read this file from the memory and understand what are all the hardware components in this and uh, um, as you said this follows uh, uh, the device tree specification uh, which is right now the version 0.3 and it is maintained by device tree dot org um, and uh, <clears throat> if you see this device tree uh, uh, as we said in the first slide uh, there will be something called root node and uh, there will be something called child nodes and uh, uh, below this child nodes there will be further uh, children nodes so now tree root is where it starts and uh, it describes the kind of uh, interfaces that are present or the peripherals uh, we say mm, and under these peripherals there will be sub categorization of uh, uh, these uh, uh, peripherals so this is how a simple um structural uh, block diagram representation uh, looks like uh, but there will be some specific uh, uh, format um, that is mentioned uh, that is defined in device tree specification which need to be used by, by the um, designers so uh, the the specific format uh, has like uh, there will be something called node name so each uh, um hardware can be uh, having a node uh, which is uh, as we are saying here child node so this will have some node name and uh, this will have some properties so the properties are like uh, um, whether it be any addresses or any settings if for example if you take the gpio um, the bit uh, related data so all these would be um, part of the properties so now Uh, as we said it will have one node and uh, it will have properties these properties are in the form of name value pairs the name and its value basically so uh, this uh, um, no, uh, name norm whatever we are saying name value pairs is very important to understand in the uh, device tree 
Now, this device tree uh, follows uh, device tree specification. Uh, so, there is a clear specification defined on how a device tree need to be written, what is the syntax, uh, how a name need to be there, whether name is required or uh, uh, just node description is enough. So, there are different uh, um, specifications that are uh, defined in uh, uh, device tree uh, and uh, this follows uh, V0.3 standard as of now. So, now uh, why this device tree specification we, we are talking here specifically is because uh, uh, Zypher uses uh, um, a device tree. So, as we are working on NRF 5340, um, we need to understand uh, what is a device tree and how it is written before uh, uh, understanding the sample code or writing a code on our own. Uh, so, this Zypher basically um, has uh, uh, two files. One is called uh, the, um, the device tree sources and the device tree bindings. So, what device tree sources contain is uh, basically the device tree which we talked initially, the structure of the device tree, the entire data structure is present in this uh, device tree um, and it describes the hardware. And <clears throat> the specific uh, uh, data types of that and the description of those uh, uh, device tree will be present in the device tree bindings. So now when we build this, uh, a, a C header will be generated um, from these device source, uh, device tree source and bindings which will further uh, generate a device tree dot h. So now in uh, your Zypher code, um, if we see we have uh, something called device tree dot h, uh, which will, which is like a abstraction of uh, the generated C header uh, from these device tree sources and bindings. So now when you go to device tree dot h, um, this will be full of macros which we will uh, talk later. And <clears throat> this macros or uh, uh, whatever the um, device related, uh, hardware related uh, descriptions uh, uh, will be used by the Zypher and uh, application source code files. So, uh, go back to your uh, sample code or uh, <coughs> the code you are writing and see the device tree dot h and look uh, at the macros that are written there. Um, so, we will talk about uh, in detail about the build structure, the device tree dot h um, and understand how it is written before going to the code of NRF 5340. Now, one has to understand uh, um, the, the Zypher uh, operating system uh, to work uh, seamlessly with the NRF uh, um, devices uh, because there are many code samples uh, uh, which are written um, and uh, uh, we will try to help you uh, to read uh, or uh, to understand all of them mm, and particularly uh, you can visit uh, the Zypher uh, uh, website where they have given a clear description of each and every file and it is very easy to understand the code if the entire documentation is followed. Thanks for watching our video. Mm, hope it is helpful for you. Uh, please um, comment uh, if you have any suggestions uh, please subscribe to our channel and like our video thank you